Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Balelish and in this episode, an Africa is going to find his new religious zeal. He has always been a casual worshipper of Set, but knowing that the religion can be weaponized in the exiled lands really piqued his interest, so he is going to start on that journey to find religious enlightenment. We already switched to the journey step to place an altar. We should have the materials we need. This is just above our base in the old Neptune. We are going to place it right here. Looks like a really cool place to worship a powerful deity. There we go. Seems eh, it's aligned enough. Okay. Now, uh, I brought some sticks to craft this. Yep. Uh, another thing we can craft. Uh, uh, we might all right journey step complete let's put this down here harvest religious resource that's fine by us uh the problem with the temple being up here is that it's outside of our base to be honest we just have to go like this and then go all the way down and this is our base i could put an elevator there but I didn't find a really good place to set one up, so it is what it is. Uh, let's just tell them to stop. Close the store. We don't want intruders uh, to help us getting the religious stuff. We are going to summon two guardians that we already assembled. Let's start with this one. They're both fully iron golems with the mall. I found it that they're quite useful in combat. Also with the brimstone stuff, I'm not sure if it's going to poison me or just the enemies. But we will find out shortly if that's the case. You can tell them to follow. Are you... Maybe just poisons. If he also poisons me, I can just use my sandstorm breathing mask. The other guy, same setup. And it's perfect. I can tell him to follow us as well. Another thing we have that we can grab right away is Flesh of Remembrance. We can trade those for some religious stuff as well. Uh, I thought we had something from another religion, but I guess I'm mistaken. Where do we want to go? We want to go straight to Sepermeru to see if there's a high priest spawn there. If there is, we want to bring him back. Um, so let's get going with that. Now, this is not the ideal place to farm for the hearts, unless you have really good thralls, because these guys are quite tough. Uh, my golems are very strong, but their HP has a expiry date, so it's not smart to bring them here. There's a named sorcerer here. I'm not going to bother with that. That's not what we're looking for. We are looking for this guy over here oh oh this those guys are on yep yep that does hurt us so let's just put this well he was quite they were quite effective taking care of these dudes okay more of them are coming All right. Now I'm going to put you guys on guard me because attacking everyone on sight, not a bad idea for what we want, but we should have some control over them. Let's get the religious items, resources as they call it. A 
Okay, a couple of golem pieces there. All right. Let's just drop all the excess human stuff we don't need. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. So I am going to take this guy. Mm, I am going to take this guy with me. Let's try with the orbs. And we can put this on so we can increase the efficiency of those orbs. They're still getting hit by it. Yeah. Well, with this setup, actually, two warps can get a lot of work in. We, we have two high priests here. We will take one of these guys. That will improve our efficiency. We're getting some of the items we need. Uh, but what we do need to summon the avatar is not a high priest, it's an arch priest. So we should kill these two. I will rip you apart. Okay, dude. Uh, you really shouldn't have done that because you're going to get everything killed here. Let's take one of the high priests out of that way, out of the way from those clouds that they're going to generate I'm just killing these guys to make them respawn because if we're looking for Archpriest we should improve our chances of getting one um, so let's just grab this guy go back to old Neptune we have the Setai Priest. We can put the driver that we got last episode to help speed up the training of this High Priest. Now we can continue to into the den and just get as much of the human hearts as possible. So we can get our religious resources going. Okay, so this camp is... Uh, our main victim in this playthrough. It's not a bad camp to be around, to be honest. Good loot to gather, and it's not that difficult. Now, about that poll we had about the next character, the new character won. So we are going to be seeing a Vendian noblewoman at the start of the Age of War. That doesn't mean we are going to give up completely on Epic Hardy though, because uh, someone in the comments asked me if I wanted to go to the Isle of Sipta, and I think it would be a cool playthrough to explore the Isle of Sipta. I don't know much about it, so I am going to be going almost as a blind playthrough. Not quite, but I know that there's uh, these portals that the thralls come out of, and there's some vaults. I'm not sure what else Isle of Sipta has to give us, and that excites me. Uh, it is a nice prospect to just explore something new. And the Vindian character kind of fits. In the Age of War, the Purges will be attacking Isle of Sipta as well, I suppose. Isle of Sipta has Purges, right? And since it makes sense for the noblewoman to explore Isle of Sipta, we are going to leave Nefrikari here. Maybe I'll play him a bit on my spare time and build that volcano base. And once it's built, I can just make a video of the construction, show it to you guys. And who knows, maybe later on, since we are going to be on a different server, later on, maybe we will be able to just come back to Nefrikari in a different chapter, maybe. So. It's probably not the last we're going to see of our sorcerer year, but uh, he is going to take the 
a back step and just lay low for a while until he figures out what kind of threat these new Stygians are coming into the exiled lands. Now, these golems I'm really liking, the, the brimstone effect they have. If you come to a place like this where the poison is going to be effective, if you're taking them to some undead spot, uh, probably don't take these guys. Uh, but it is cool, it's like having a gas orb almost uh, in every fight. We have plenty of hearts and flesh of remembrance. The flesh of remembrance we should craft first, and with these we should craft the antidote. Let's ignore this and this, and then craft two of these first. Now we can craft the rest of these and the rest of these. So once we get the thrall in here, it's going to be a lot quicker uh, to to craft these items. But as part of our journey, we should craft a religious item. Um, I'm not sure we should need to unlock... I only have 20 available spices. This costs us 5. And this costs us 11. So we have just enough. Crafted the symptom of set for more ritualistic killings. The snake bite, I'm not sure what the snake bite does, but that's what it is. So, we are completing a burn offering from another god, so it's going to give us the zeal we need. It gave us one zeal. I thought it would give us more than one. Not sure why it gave us just one. To upgrade to the next level, we need bricks, shaped wood, iron reinforcements, and manifestation of zeals, which we're going to get quite a few. It's not going to be enough to take it all the way, but it's a start. We already finished the journey step. Uh, journey step, claim the reward. And the high priest, we can switch to this one. Upgrade an altar to the final level. Get an high priest to the altar. Summon and summon an avatar. We can switch to this one, knowing very well that we might be hit by a purge really soon. Uh, we might have to switch that one for another. Now we go back to base, back to Sepermeru, see if those priests have respawned. And if we're lucky enough to get a high priest right away, that would be amazing, but they are quite rare. High priest, high priest, and the priest. Okay. So these guys we need to to actually kill. Oh, there's another priest here. It's another priest, another high priest, and a kitty cat. Don't kill the cat. Oh, the cat's going to die. He's going into the poison. No, no. Oh, the cat survived. Good. Well, you can give your offering to set one last time. Your hearts will be enough. What are these guys doing? Just already knowing what my next plan is. What's over here? Some steel. Don't mind if I do. This is usually what I do, just sit here, wait for them to respawn, and that's going to be very exciting gameplay right there. Just wait, patience young Palawan. Okay guys, while waiting for this respawn, the Purge decided to attack our base, so uh, I really want to wait for this respawn and then run to base real quick. 
I think we have enough time to prepare. Uh, these two golems are the ones we are going to take to fight the purge. Uh, if they fail, it is a Vanir uh, purge. So the northerners, it's going to be a tougher one. If these guys fail, we can quickly, between waves, go get the, the zombies from the crypts. Oh, here, here comes the response. Set priest, set priest, and set priest. Set priest, set priest. Okay. So we're going to quickly kill them. Just so... After the purge, we can come back here and see if the archpriest has spawned. I know we're cutting it a bit close, uh, especially because our weapons need repair. But I'm greedy that way, so. Alright. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Where's the horse? Because you have to really hurry up on this one. Three minutes to spare. Wasn't too bad. Sometimes the the perch Gets there early, so let's hope it's not one of those situations. Old Neptune, here we go. Okay, first things first. Repair our main weapons. Uh, this one for... That one. And... Here we can repair our daggers. Repair. We didn't use the fragment of power. That's what I was afraid of. That's good news. Um, anything else that we need repaired? I think our armor is good enough. Uh, it will survive the purge for sure. We have some weight on us that we probably shouldn't. Let's go for that, 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 that. Great lot of some potions, some supplies, what, what's in these, okay, interesting, okay, um, can we, time remaining, purging coming, time remaining 8 minutes, for what reason, is, is a wave here, why did it reset the timer? I'm not sure what happened there. Let's just go up. Journey step. The purge hasn't triggered yet. Okay, they are attacking. Uh, this was miscalculated by my part. Okay, okay, okay. Abort. We'll take care of this later. Where are they? We can jump down here. There's a few of them coming through there. We can just go straight to those guys. Those two are gone. Let's get on the horse.
the yeah trigger the purge is in effect okay, there's there was a wolf there i don't know where it went okay they're trying to get to my base from up there smart of them So, are they regrouping? I heard the horn. I'm really glad that the purge is going to get revamped. Because right now it's a bit of a mess. I'm not sure if they're going to regroup on this one or what they're doing. I heard the horn, and uh, what does that mean? There's a guy here. Okay, we, we can get this guy. Sure, this guy is going to count as a purge thrall, Master Tanner Trek. No, don't don't go there to die for the gas. Okay, now they're regrouping. Okay, let's get this guy straight to the Wheel of Pain. Not that we need another tanner, but okay. The archpriest is or the high priest is already trained. The faster thrall training really paying off there. What do I want to do in this case? Uh, I'll just go quickly upstairs. Trying to go there, put the high priest, put the the hearts in so they don't decay on my body while I'm fighting this. We don't have a lot of time here, but should be able to do it. Okay. Now we can drop it. We can put this guy there. We can drop all these antidotes, we don't need them. And we can put all these hearts and craft there okay we have to quickly go back down and see to our base defense luckily we have a very easy way to get down here by just lunging ourselves Oh, there's an archer there, Vapnir. We know we don't want the archer. Mm, should be going through here with the the horse.
they're regrouping again. This time we can loot the bodies, maybe even get some hearts out of it. We do have the tool gear. The steel, the hearts. could go get some well it, we don't have time now but we could get some some reps some healing reps Get on corpse smear and go to the other side. Stuck there is again. Uh, a priest for Ymir. That's heresy, worshipping anything other than that. So we did get the item from him. And his art is also going to go into the temple of Set. Okay. What we can do here is the hearts in, can take the eggs out and go get some healing reps and get ready for the next wave. That should be over here, yep. And to go back to the battlefield, we'll go to the slow fall spell. Ah! <laughs> 
Where's my golems? This is a lot sadder without my golems. Oh, there they are. Okay. There's a sandstorm coming. We might have to fight this fight uh, in the midst of grueling sandstorm. But if it's tough for us, it's going to be tough for our enemies as well. Let's get something going here. Let's see. Protect me while I cast the spell. Lightning storm. That's a dangerous one. That's a danger puppy right there. Yep, that's a danger puppy. I'll let those guys deal with him. I'll deal with you. one is going to die yep it is a regrouping so let's see what this gives us just a flash it's not the right tool for it i know but Okay, so they are regrouping, so we don't have to be worried about more of them coming right now. We have one minute. Get this straight. Uh, cloth pouch. We have another leather pouch. So for the final boss, we can actually get the, um, another storm going. Let's just wait for it right here. It is the second time that the old Neptune base is under attack. First, it was the Den, Desonans, the followers of Jebel Zag. Now they came from the north, the Vanir. Their fate will be the same. You can see a head rolling over there at the distance, and that shall be their fate. Maybe we can get some good thralls out of this. Okay, let's see over here. Which seem to be the biggest concentration. Okay, there's wolves there. Let's start with dealing with those. Alright. Just trying to apply my dots on as many wolves as possible. That should be close to enough to get them down. Okay. So, there's another wolf there. Where are you going, puppy?
Chieftain Rudder. Okay. Well, deciding to attack my golems will get you killed, Chieftain Rather. I was trying to keep you alive. It would not be an easy life, but it would be something. Alright, the Chieftain was Rather herself. Very well. She was kind enough to bring us... A heart of the Nordheimer. We'll take a, the, the heart as well. Uh, well. Another successful defense of the old Neptune base. Our golems did really well. They did lose a bit of life. Uh, it wasn't a very difficult purge. Being the Northerners, I was expecting it to be a little bit harder. But it wasn't the, the Cimmerians. The Cimmerians is a hard uh, purge. This one was a milder one, which is fine by me. We got the, the journey step completed, I believe. Convert a purge thrall. So that's the only one we are missing. And for that one, we just have to wait because we do have a purge tenor on the works. Let's Quickly, I know I shouldn't do this because the episode is running really long by now and the editing is going to be a pain in the ass. But I am going to go one last time to Sepermeru since we have the, the thing there. Since we have the teleporter there and see if we can get that high priest to finish off the episode. Let's see what we have here. Set priest, set priest, set priest. Set priest and set priest. All right, let's let's get them, boys. Another drill. Okay, guys. So with the newfound religion, Nefrika is making strides to become a very devout member of the Setites Church, as you can see in the background. We are expanding our, our religious culture. Uh, what we're doing here is trying to get the Archpriest, so we need to, this is the best place to, to try for it. We advanced quite a bit. We built the temple, we got some religious zeals crafted, we got a High Priest, but we still need the Archpriest. We were surprised by a purge. The Vanir Northerners that scum attacked us. We defended the purge with flying colors, even got a purge thrall out of it, which is really good. Another journey step out of the way. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.